This video is sponsored by Babbel. I touched his bones. All broken and sticking out of his body. Everything was a bit backwards. I rolled him over and just held him. I didn't care. In today's video, you're going to see footage of a young woman who claims that she accidentally pushed her husband out of the window to his death. On June 7, 2011, a rocky relationship reached its devastating conclusion when Amber Hilderling pushed her husband Joshua out of the window of their apartment. The 23-year-old fell 17 stories to his death. There were claims of abuse on both sides, and Joshua was reportedly leaving his wife when the final fight occurred. Joshua was 6 foot 5 and 220 pounds, while 19-year-old Amber was 5 foot 5 and 7 months pregnant. Many find it hard to believe she was able to push her husband with that much force, but a neighbor claims they heard running right before the crash, which suggests Amber built up momentum. When they come in and they asked you, say, I don't want to say nothing until my attorney gets here. Do you understand? The detectives at the scene still, okay? They'll be one clear in a little bit and they'll come down here and, and talk to you. Get all that, so just hang tight, okay? All right. Thank you. Okay. But doesn't that make me guilty? No, that makes the lawyer do his job. Because maybe they will bring everything in. But regardless, I'm going to jail. That doesn't mean we're just doing your rights. You just don't understand how things work. Emberling has a relative that at least knows how the situation should have been handled. Emberling is on the edge of an emotional meltdown, and her relative realizes how damaging things can be, especially if family members of the deceased already had a grudge or dislike towards Hilbering. You just don't say nothing until your attorney gets here. Okay? So we're gonna be here for like hours. Yeah, it'll probably be a long time. But you don't say nothing until your attorney gets here. If when they when they come in, just say I don't wanna say nothing until my attorney gets here. Okay? Don't don't and don't slip any other way. You just have to stick to that. Because they are, listen to me, they are going to poke you. I just want to be with Josh. They're I gonna, just want to die. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Amber, you got that baby there. But That's this a, is Josh's baby. That's right. That's Josh's baby. That's the only thing that Josh has got is that baby. He's supposed to be here. I'm such a bad person. Amber. No, I don't deserve to live. You don't deserve to be a mom. Josh deserves to be a dad. <laughs> and you Josh isn't even a person anymore. You can't talk like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and you can't talk like that in front of them. You gotta hold it together, baby. I can't stop seeing Josh fall. I just want to be back in bed, laying with him. <laughs> That's never going to happen again. No. <laughs> Why did he have to die? I can't even, like this is supposed to hurt so much more. <laughs> I just want to see him smile again. <sighs> this isn't fair. 
I just want to go back in time. <laughs> I lost the person I love. The person I couldn't even imagine being separated from is dead. saying if we stay together I'm gonna kill him. How did it. this happen? How did this happen? Why did he have to fall out the window? <laughs> fall out a window? Why did mom put us in that apartment? struggling. What do you mean? When you was... I can't get the image of him go out of my head, him falling out the window. <clears throat> I'm just trying to tell myself this isn't real and this is all going to be over soon. Noberling keeps reliving the moment of her husband's death. She's only 19 years old, and the sight would have been traumatizing. However, the way she speaks is certain to get her in trouble with the police. There are already several phrases that the prosecution can use to bring a strong case against her. We'll find out more about what happened next after a quick word from today's sponsor. Babel es mi lugar favorito para aprender nuevos idiomas. Yes. That was me introducing Babbel in Spanish using my new skills I learned on the app. Their speech recognition feature is one of my favorite parts about the app, allowing me to practice out loud and hear what I actually sound like. They also have games, podcasts, live classes, and more. So instead of it feeling like a chore, it feels more like a fun hobby you look forward to every day. Si, yo puedo hacerlo, tú también puedes. Babbel lets you learn a new language through short, sweet, and effective lessons, allowing you to quickly prepare for that upcoming trip abroad, connect to your partner's culture, or just better yourself by learning something new. Babbel really does work. Their learning method is designed to get you speaking and really feeling the language in no time. Right now is the perfect time to start your language learning journey. Get 30% off your Babbel prescription by clicking my link in the description below. bring me some different pants? Well, uh, right now, ain't nobody going nowhere. I 
can't, this isn't happening. Josh is dead. His bones were sticking out all over his body. His soul body was broken. And I just held him and kissed his cheeks and screamed for him to wake up. <sighs> this is going to turn into a nightmare. We just have to pray. We'll get through it. I don't deserve to pray. Who am I praying to, Josh? Josh hates me. <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to meet him any in heaven anymore because he just hates me. I killed him. Damn. Stop talking like that. <laughs> what kind of person am I? You're a loving person that has been abused by Josh just as well. No, I, I'm a horrible person who could do that. Who could do that? <laughs> Push my husband and make him fall out the window. <laughs> I wish I could just go back and know that if I pushed him, it was going to happen. Amber, quit saying you pushed him out the window. Did you intentionally? No, okay. of course not. Okay, that's what they're going to take it as, baby. That's why I said everything that you say, they're going to in a different matter. Because they're going to say, okay, Amber. I just don't understand this whole legal system. No, not that. I don't understand the whole pattern of events of the last year. <laughs> I was getting married and going to Alaska, everything in Alaska, me being pregnant, coming back here, getting kicked out of mom's house, going to the apartment, and then all for it to just, Josh just fall out of a high rise building. <laughs> I wish I would have never went to the apartment. I mean, what are the chances? How many times has that happened? All Josh's friends, his family, they're going to know he died because he fell out of a high-rise apartment. <laughs> and I just keep watching him fall over and over and over again in my head. Watching him flail and think that he, you know... <laughs> My last thought was, please catch yourself. <laughs> and I just want to know what was going through his head. If he knew he was going to die. <laughs> if he said a prayer, or if he cursed my name, or if he just thought that he could catch himself too. And then just watching him hit the ground. <laughs> Is there no balcony there from the living room? No. The relative keeps trying to stress that Hilberling's choice of words is going to be misconstrued, but Hilberling isn't in a stable enough mental state to grasp the situation. Allegations of abuse by her husband has been brought up, but if there is no documentation, his family will certainly fight against that statement. in my life everyone's gonna think I'm a murderer my family my whole family Amber we don't think that baby all of Tulsa is gonna know I don't 
I want to be the one that's dead. I want to be dead, and I want Josh to be here. <laughs> what's, what's little Levi gonna do? They could save him. <laughs> so not only does he have to lose his dad, he's got to lose his mama too. I just have to... I just want to go back. Please, I just want to go back and just not, not push him, just catch him something. <laughs> this can't be real. <sighs> I mean, I still have my whole life ahead of me. And I was supposed to spend it with Josh. And now I'm gonna go to prison. And Josh is dead. My baby's gonna get taken away from me. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe Josh fell. I, I wish I could just get it out of my head. I just want to go to sleep. <sighs> what am I going to tell Levi? That he had a handsome dad, and that he he loved him, and you will show his picture to him. And you will show him and tell him the good things about his dad. But I know what really happened. What really happened? You don't know what really happened. Y'all were in there. You were struggling. I can't believe he fell out the window. <laughs> Why did that happen? Because it's that apartment up there with the view and the Why didn't I just leave? Why were we there? <laughs> Why did he fall? Josh is dead. <laughs> He's probably talking to his grandpa. Just... He's probably talking to his grandpa. <laughs> knowing how the family feels. <clears throat> that that's gonna be a... <clears throat> that's uh -huh. what I'm saying. This is a nightmare that's just now getting started. <laughs> I mean, I Goebbeling's mind is trying to grasp onto something she can understand, but the funeral is the last thing she should be thinking about. All of her focus needs to be on her upcoming questioning. But if she continues on this way, it is going to go poorly. As if Josh being dead, I can't even say it without believe. I can't believe it when I say it. You have to remember what I told you. 
if you amber, if you don't do anything else. You got to remember what I told you. I'm begging you. About the attorney? What if it doesn't work? It it'll work. You let the attorney handle it. And they're gonna try to break you. Don't. I'm just waiting for Josh to walk in the room and tell me that he's sorry and that he loves me so much. I just keep seeing him fall. I wish I could just get it out of my head. It's never gonna go away. Every time I close my eyes, I'm gonna see it for the rest of my life. go home to my husband. Josh fell. I feel so guilty for breathing, for not crying. You're in shock. But I feel guilty for just being here. I just want him to be in the hospital. I just kept screaming his name, screaming, saying, wake up, please. And I just waited for him to wake up. <laughs> I just held him. His body broken to nothing. The mental state continues to deteriorate. Hilberling has been in the room for almost a half an hour, and the more she breaks down, the easier it will be to get her to say something incriminating. <laughs> Every bone in his body was sticking out. And I just, his eyes were open. <laughs> and I just looked at him and I just kissed him. And he said, I'm so sorry. 
I love you, Mika. <laughs> Is there anybody else around? I just can't even close my eyes. <laughs> this isn't happening. He's gonna have to grow up without dad. All because of me. I just can't imagine what it would feel like to lose Adam or Ariel. Fuck Andy the And Josh's family lost him. Such a bad nightmare. I just want Josh to hold me. Just one more time and then I'll say goodbye and I'll leave him alone. <laughs> but at least he'll still be there. For Levi. And his family. He's gonna be there. He's gonna look over <laughs> Levi. this happen? <laughs> this is just a, <sighs> This is just only stuff that happens in movies. What is that? What do you have to do? You're gonna have to quit saying that. Yeah, I know. You That's didn't. What I'm saying. You didn't kill him, Amber. I know, but it, it was an accident that went wrong, but because of me. I mean, I know I. Even if it truly was an accident, Hilberling's constant habit of blaming herself for an accident makes her sound guilty. The frustration in her relative's voice is evident, and it is clear the other woman knows 
how this is likely to play out. I can't say those things. I know what I have to do to keep me and Levi safe. No, um, the only thing that I'm telling you is just for you to talk to your attorney. You have to be open and honest with your attorney. I'm just saying that you, your emotions right now, you're in shock. What if I'm not? What if what? I'm just a horrible person who can't you're cry? Or... You're human. You're in shock. You seen your husband that you love die. That's shock. <laughs> No, you're like seven, a and, seven and a half months pregnant. You're carrying a child. I don't feel like I'm in shock. I just don't feel anything. I just keep hoping it's the whole... <laughs> the Josh is just going to walk, walk in, in here. Walk in the door. <laughs> 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 just... God, I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't do this. I can't. Not only is he dead, but the way he died, <laughs> I just wish it would leave my head. Every time I close my eyes, I see it. <sighs> it's like torture, just to, my subconscious just keeps playing it over and over and over again. <laughs> As if one time seeing it isn't bad enough, I have to see it over and over and over. <laughs> I just want to save him. I want to save him. I just want it. <laughs> at least if I can go back and take back the push, at least I can save him. The push? <laughs> the push. I pushed him against the wall and he... Oh my god. <laughs> At least I could catch him. I tried, but he, it was all so fast. <laughs> and I just want to know what his last thoughts were. <laughs> what could you think? What could go through your head when you're falling to your death? Was he fixing to... Where was the candle things? There's like these big... There's like these stand-up candle things like this eye. They're just like little wire things, but he was fixing the TV. He was like messing with the TV right here. <laughs> and the window's right here. And I pushed him and he fell into the window and fell. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm never going to get over this. I'm never going to understand it. I mean, I thought divorce was going to hurt. <laughs> He's not even here. I can't even talk to him. Every time I pick up my phone, I'm just going to want to text him. is happening. I'm sorry. I don't know what's taking them so long. Let me get your what, Amber, is that right? Yeah. What's your last name? Hilberling. I'm sorry? Hilberling. Hilberling. How do you spell that? <laughs> H-E-R-L-I-N. No. Oh. H-I-L. P. 
P-E-R. P? B. B-E-R. L-I-N-G. Okay. Where's your maiden name? Hills. Hills. What's your birthday? Was it 2508 or 2805? Your apartment? 2509. 2509, okay. An officer has finally entered to start taking Hilberling's information. Although it is still possible they will hold off starting the interview. She is struggling to answer basic questions and has the typical symptoms of a person in shock. The way she keeps cycling through the events and disbelief that it has happened may make it difficult for her to focus on anything else. Carson. And what's your social security number? Other well, detectives here, I think he's talking to one of the witnesses now. And he's got to talk to another one, then they'll be in here, all right? me. I'm never going to find someone that I love more than Josh. I'm never going to find someone as perfect for me as he was. And I ruined all of it. <laughs> God, why did I do that? <laughs> God, I just want to go back. <laughs> What, the first time y'all got to fight? I killed him. He's dead. Uh -huh. I touched his bones all broken and sticking out of his body. Everything was bent backwards. I rolled him over <laughs> and just held him. I didn't care. <laughs> I'm gonna have this baby and it's gonna be just like Josh <laughs> and I'm scared because it's gonna remind me of him every day look like him and I was supposed to enjoy it with Josh <laughs> And I stole that from Josh. I didn't, I stole his whole life away from him. <laughs> He's 23. He's supposed to, <sighs> He 
he's never gonna watch. He's not gonna be there when Levi's born. He's not gonna watch him grow up. Watch him get married. See him have Greg. Oh my god. <laughs> hasn't processed the very real possibility that she is going to spend those years in a prison cell and not with her son. <laughs> I mean, what if you lost Papa before anything ever even got to happen? <laughs> I just want to be with him. I can't accept the fact that he's not here anymore. I refuse to do that. Looking forward to all the nights. I'm gonna spend crying, <laughs> waking up screaming, dreaming about him. That's why we have therapists to help. Dreaming about what happened every time I, I just see it. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head now. imagine how his parents feel <laughs> or how his brother's gonna feel he's all the way in Afghanistan him and his brother have grown up protecting each other <laughs> was so special. He is so special. supposed to say to them when they come in here? It's the same thing about the thing to say. Hi, are you Amber? Yes. Yeah, my name is Jeff Elton. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, you? I'm her grandmother, Gloria Bowers. Oh, okay. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'd like to talk to you, get, get a statement as to what happened. Um, this, can I talk to her? Yeah, can I talk to her in private? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 19. 
Okay. How long you guys been married? I can't make a statement. I don't want this to turn out bad. Okay. Okay, well. Uh, My mom, I think, is calling an attorney. Okay. Is that what you want to do? And I'm not supposed to say anything until he gets here. Okay. Who is your attorney? I, I don't know. Okay. What's your mom's? Rhonda Whitlock. Rhonda Whitlock. Okay. And um, you know her phone number? A detective has come to take her statement, but Hilberling says she won't speak without an attorney. That is the best choice, but she's very emotional and might give in before representation arrives. Okay, let me just get all your information then, and we won't talk about the case at all, okay? Amber? <laughs> and I'll let your grandma come back in here, okay? What's, what's, uh... I can't deal with this. Okay, can you, can you tell me your name and stuff? Amber Hilberling. Okay. Is it H I B? No, H I L. Okay. B E R L I N G. L I N G. Would you like to? Is this your water? You want another water or pop or anything? Okay. Well, what's your date of birth, Amber? All right. In your sosh? Okay. I'll call your mom. Okay. Okay. You, you want your grandma to come sit back in? Yes, please. Josh, baby, I will never, ever forgive myself. I can't even begin to accept this. I want you to be here. Just come back, please. Please. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> I hope, I hope you are happy. I will spend the rest of my life paying for this. <laughs> Don't push him. You'll get it. I just I look at this and I think of all this stuff on Josh. Everything was split open. You could see his bones and blood and guts and <laughs> I just watched him fall, not doing anything, standing safely in the apartment while my, the love of my life fell. And I just kept saying to myself, please catch yourself, please catch yourself. <laughs> Wondering why the whole time I was ever- It would be best if the separation was mentioned through her attorney. It gives her a motive for murder, but covering it up 
and having the information coming from someone else would be even more damaging. If we're gonna think that he could catch himself. I was hoping maybe he'd just fall and break his leg or something. You was hoping he would fall? No, I mean, while he was falling, all these thoughts were running through my head, like, please catch yourself, just... Okay, why, why did you... Was you fixing to go out the door? What do you mean? Was you fixing... When you fixing to come over my house? Yeah, I was waiting for him to leave. <laughs> I didn't even yell at him or anything. I don't know what happened. He was the one walking around yelling at me, being mean, and I was just cleaning up the glass. I didn't I didn't say anything mean to him. I didn't yell at him. I just sat in the bathroom crying so hard I was throwing up. And he came in there and said, he said, we've, I've got all these options. He said, what do you, he said, you want me, he kept saying, what do you want to do? And I said, please make your own decisions. And he said, okay, I will. He said, I want to work things out with you, but we need to be separated for a while. His, he had already talked to his dad. He had done talk to him. Yeah, he had just got off the phone with him. His dad was at work, so his dad was gonna pick him up after he got off of work. That's why he was going with his friend. And he was on the phone with his friend and he just hung up with his... I mean, I don't even know if he was on the phone. I don't know, I just... <laughs> well, then you come out of the bathroom? Yeah, it came, I was getting, he had dumped all my laundry out. And I was putting it all back in there. I just don't understand why. I just wish I could go back. And just have left. Well, you gathered your laundry up when you go out the door? Yeah, and I I couldn't leave because the guy was in there measuring the window that Josh had broke. Was all this going on with the guy there? He was out on the balcony measuring the window from the outside on the balcony from the bedroom, and we were in the living room. Oh. So it was somebody in the... Yeah, so I couldn't leave because the guy was in there measuring the apartment. Were y'all hollering and stuff? No. We weren't yelling or anything. Josh was yelling, but not while the guy was in there. Where um, was the guy? Had he left? No, he was there when Josh was Still fell. there? He was still there? Yeah, he was out on the balcony, and I, he heard me start screaming. <laughs> I was screaming was screaming, running around, and I ran out the door to go down the elevator to go meet, to go get Josh, and he came out, and he was like, oh my god, he fell, and I was like, I know, I was like, I have to go get him. Hello. Hey. Just still sitting in here in the room with Amber. Well, I told her to wait to not to say anything till the attorney got here. Uh, I don't know. They should be. The cops had them down at the apartment uh, answering questions, and I'm sure that they'll then be down here because the investigator was going to call Rhonda. So I'm just sitting and waiting until attorney shows up or Rhonda. 
Uh, yeah, I told him, uh, he's called me, but I told him I couldn't really tell him anything or talk to him right now because I'm kind of stuck here in this room. So, but, so I'm going to sit in here with her until Rhonda Nim gets here and the uh, attorney. All righty. All right, love you. Bye-bye. There is a potential witness, although he wasn't close enough to see what happened. Still, if he heard anything, it could help determine the outcome of this case. She hadn't answered, so. Call uh, Dr. Whitlock, and his is... Uh, is the last... Doc, Dr. Whitlock, is that her husband? Whitlock. Whitlock. Uh -huh. Is that her husband? Uh-huh. The last I heard, they were at the apartment. Uh, okay. They were... The officers was questioning them. Uh, oh, he brought us. He brought us. He brought us? Yeah. Hello, is this Dr. Whitlock? Yeah. Yeah, how you doing, sir? My name is Jeff Felton. Tell us, please. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm here with Amber. And uh, I was hoping to get a statement, and she said her mom was contacting an attorney. Do you know who that'd be, or if he's going to come down today? Or do... Okay. Okay, would you, uh, would you call my cell phone when you get hold of one? Or, in fact, you can give him my cell phone number as well to see if he's going to allow her to make a statement or if he wants to come talk to her and uh, see what's going on, okay? All right. It's Jeff Felton. J-E-F-F? -F? No, Felton, F as in Frank. Yeah, E-L-T-O-N. Yes, sir. And 724-6929. Thank you much. All right, bye-bye. Would you like water, pop, anything? You got, you want, you got a pop machine? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll get you. I think uh, I got some. Mountain Dew. Hey, Rob. Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah. Here, come on up. Hello, you're fine. Hello. What? Uh, hey, I can't hear you. Adam. Hello. Uh, she just went to the bathroom. She, we're down here in the investigating room. She won't be able to talk to you. Well, Josh is dead. I, he fell out of the window. And she can't say anything down here right now. Rhonda and him's on her way down. I'm in here with her until um, somebody gets here. Okay? I, I mean, I'm sorry when I get out and know a little more, I'll call you. Or one of us will. All right? All right. Love you. Bye. On March 19th, 2013, Amber Hilberling was found guilty of second-degree murder. She had previously refused a plea deal that would have resulted in serving only five years, 
Instead, after only three hours of deliberation, a jury sentenced her to 25 years in jail. Hoberling maintained her innocence to the last. On October 25, 2016, Hoberling was found dead in her cell. An autopsy concluded that she had hung herself, although she had given no sign that she was any danger to herself. And that's the end of today's video. If you liked what you watched and want to support the channel, hit the like button and check out my Patreon link in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.